that we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air I, Richard A. Braun I, Richard A. Braun do solemnly swear that I will uphold the Constitution that I will solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution and laws of the United States of America and the laws of the United States of America the Constitution and laws Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio, of the state of Ohio, and the charter and ordinances, and the charter and ordinances of the city of Cincinnati, of the city of Cincinnati, and that I will faithfully, and that I will faithfully, honestly, honestly, and impartially, and impartially perform my duties, perform my duties as the fire chief of the city of Cincinnati, as the fire chief of the city of Cincinnati, to which position, to which position I have been appointed, I have been appointed according to law. According According to law and to the best of my ability and to the best of my ability congratulations thank you Cincinnati Fire Department is steeped in a time-honored tradition of self-sacrifice and service to the citizens of Cincinnati. It is upon this tradition that spans more than 158 years that a new era of service will be started, an era that will be built on the honor, integrity, and professionalism that has been the bedrock of the Cincinnati Fire Department from its inception in 1853. During these hard economic times, it is the responsibility of every public servant to evaluate how they perform their duties and determine is there a better and a more efficient way to provide the services to the citizens of Cincinnati. It is with this in mind that I will lead the department in a manner that will evaluate every aspect of its operations. It will not be an easy task, but the word easy is not in the firefighter's handbook. You will find such words as hazardous, dangerous, unsafe, risky, but not easy. Firefighters are, by their very nature, used to taking on jobs that require thinking outside of the box. It is this trait that will provide the ideas and the innovation to transform the department into an industry leader in both fire and EMS. The major focuses will be on fire and EMS responses, beginning at the dispatch center, and ending with the last company to leave the scene. Which equipment is dispatched and the overall deployment of resources will be looked at in order to provide the adequate coverage for not only the day-to-day -day emergencies, but for large-scale disasters, both natural and man-made. Fire prevention and public education are pivotal, pivotal in the efforts to make a collaborative effort with the neighborhood associations in providing CPR and AED training to the citizens along with a smoke detector placement and testing program. These are just a few of the areas that can be addressed and advanced. Training will be increased to include officer training as well as in-service training for all units. The great coach from Ohio State, Woody Hayes, once said that a team is getting better or it's getting worse. It's never standing still. We will continually strive to be better. I would like to begin the process to have the Cincinnati Fire Department accredited. This requires an exhaustive self-analysis of the entire operation of the department, followed by a lengthy peer review, which confirms that you are meeting the core competencies set by the accreditation board. An extensive five-year plan is required, and action steps to meet the goals set in the five-year plan must be addressed yearly in order to maintain the accreditation. It will take collaboration between the fire administration, local 48, local hospitals, surrounding fire departments, the private sector, neighborhood groups, local colleges and universities, and the news media. City council, the mayor, and the city manager. All will have to play an integral part in order to have these steps put in place. <laughs> 